Chivo is here back for another Football Manager 15 video here with Eastley and it is uh, it's uh, what is it? It's February and we've just passed the transfer window and there's quite a bit on our plate that is right first thing is let's see how things have been going so last time I saw you was Tottenham and QPR and look at all the green we haven't lost apart from our game against Arsenal um, it's very surprising to be honest I didn't think we'd win that many in a row but um, if you do have a look there's been some quite notable uh, performances here so Wigan we beat 3-2 Duarte, Albadri and Hesse scoring the goals there we beat Watford at home 4-0 Michael Perry picking up 2 George Green with 1 and Hesse Rodriguez with the other we beat Norwich away from home 2-1 they start off the scoring. Della Alley getting a 13th minute goal before Michael Perry and Yuhuguchi came up big and two knocks there for two of our players. We beat Burnley away from home. 2-0. Uh, Tammy Albadri scoring both. We beat Leighton Orient 7-2 in their FA Cup third round. There's right, 7-2. And what a performance that was. We then beat West Ham 1-0 away from home, so four games away from home, and Pablo Mendes picking up the goal there. We then played a three at home, the first being a 2-1 win against Stoke, Athos Guerra, who I will show you in a minute, and Brenovoj Stefanovic scoring the goals. Beat Man City at home 1-0, Tammy Albadri scoring the goal. Before our Capital One Cup semi final. So, the first league we played Fulham, obviously, it's two legs, but uh, 4 1. And if you do have a look here, Tammy Albadri scored four goals in that game. What a hero! Four goals from Albadri, 9.8 rating. That was an incredible performance from him. Couldn't believe it, bagging four goals. We then played Dagnum and Redbridge. In the FA Cup fourth round, we beat them 4 0. Tammy Albadri scoring two, Marco Galuzzi scoring one, and Michael Perry scoring one as well. Before our second league Capital One Cup semi final tie with uh, Fulham, where we beat them 3 1. And what do you know, Tammy Albadri scoring two goals again. Before our most recent game, a 2 1 loss to Arsenal. Um, Asensio scoring in the first minute, but Arsenal proved to be too strong for us. So, a very good run of form there. Could not be happier. Tammy Albadri, as you can see, has scored so many goals. So, I did give him a wage increase. He asked for one. I thought, you know what? You deserve it, mate. Because you've been banging him in. I'll give you an extra 10k a week. Sign him on for an extra year. Pin him down to the club. And what a better time to do it. He's in the prime of his life. So, competition-wise. There you go. We're third on 24 points. Chelsea are on top with 59 points. Man United on 59 as well. Goal difference separating them. And then there's us in third. One point behind them. But we do have a 12-point gap over Liverpool in four. So, the top three, we are running away with it. And then there's quite a battle there for the, the last Champions League place. Uh, lonely old Wigan down there, down towards the bottom of the table with eight points. So, looks like Wigan will go down. Uh, Burnley, possibly. And who knows, there's still a battle going on there. But we're 24 games through. So, we're about two-thirds of the way through the season. So, I thought I'd, I'd come here. The transfer window's done. Two-thirds of the way. And we're on, we're on, we're on, we, we could win the title. We could. You know, we've only been first once, one week, and everything else we've been second or third. But first for one week. So uh, that wasn't too bad. As you know, in the Champions League, we have to play at PSG, where I think we'll, uh, we will get knocked out. In the FA Cup, we got a fifth round tie with Man City. So uh, big, a big game there, whether we get through or not, who knows. But in the Capital One Cup final, we will be playing Chelsea. So I will definitely bring you that game live because it is, it's a cup. It's a cup we haven't won. We need to do that. English FA Cup will be looking to do that. 
Champions League, I don't think much will come from there. But we'll, we'll see if I can live com those games. So, transfers is one thing we need to discuss. What have we done? Okay, here we go. On the outs, just loaned. And we did sell a Dario Kanijaji. Kaniji. Can, can a Gija for uh, 500k to Sheffield United. He did ask for a bit extra money. Um, I think it was like 3.5k per week for another two years. And I said, that's that's fine. No, you're a good player, but you just wasn't getting the game time. So you can you can move on. And uh, he has. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. He only had three appearances for us. He's made it one for Sheffield so far off the bench. So, good, good work there. But, um, we did do a lot. We did do a lot. So, we brought in six players. And uh, let's see who they are. So, the first one, Gonzalo uh, Dalmeo from Racing Club on a free. This guy was, we, I mean, we got him on a free. Bit of a prospect. He didn't get a work permit, so we've had to loan him out. So, he's on loan. 20 years old, probably not going to be a good player, but you know, we can always sell him on if we need. We then brought in Franco Flores, also from a Racing Club, and look at this guy. How he did not get a work permit, I have no idea. He's 22, he's a quality player, he doesn't have physicals, but technically and mentally, he's a bloody great player. So, unfortunately, he didn't get a work permit, so he has gone out on the loan as well. Maybe we can get a work permit for him later. We brought in Ivan Lander Garza from Hurricane on a free. This guy has gone on loan to Toronto Whitecaps in the MLS. This guy's worth four and a half million. Didn't get a work permit. He's only 21, but he didn't get a work permit. But as you can see, physicals are great, mentals are average, but his technicals for a defender are incredible. 16 heading, 14 marking, and 14 tackling. This guy could be good if he had the work permit. Otherwise, we might have to move him on, four and a half million, you know, I could sell him off. Especially for a free transfer as well. Then we brought in some big transfers, so I'll show you the first one. Walter, Walter Aribe from a River Plate. 4.3 million pounds. And he's a central defender, and look at this guy. 18 tackling, 16 marking, 18 heading. The technicals are good, the mentals aren't bad, but the... the the physicals are there. So this guy, 19 years old, 5.75k per week. He's on virtually nothing and he is incredible. I'm so glad we've signed him down to a, 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 a decent a decent contract. Be here for another four years yet. But as you can see, this guy didn't he, he got the work permit because he has something to offer. And boy, he's he's been in the starting lineup already. You know, he's, he's been playing well. We then brought in Mikel Carlotti, who broke our transfer record of £8.5 million. So, a lot expected from this guy, but look at him. 24, so he's aged a little bit. He's on quite a hefty wage of £63,000 per week. But he has 49 appearances for the Belgian national team. And he is a left back. And for a left back, this guy is incredible. He can play left mid, he can play centre back. But as you can see, he is an incredible left back. And no, I can't go wrong with this guy. His mentals are up there, his physicals are up there, and his technicals are up there. And we got him from Manchester United. So he starts off the game at Anderlecht. Um, he then went off to Manchester United for 16 million. We only paid half of that. As you can see, he didn't play much for United, but when he played, he had some decent seasons there. And then, of course, Marco Carlotti beat the transfer record, but then Athos Guerra came in from Fluminense, and he broke it. 9.25 million pounds. He is the person that has broken the uh, transfer record, and he's 20. He is currently injured. He's worth 7.5 million, 20,000 per week. He's a striker. Very good physicals. Can be used as a good target man. I've been using him as a complete forward. His mentals are average, but he's, his technicals are beyond what we've had. Obviously, we've got Tamiel Badri, Jesse Rodriguez, and we brought in Athos Guerrero. So, uh, this guy can be 
our uh, one of it one of our strikers. You know, if you check his history, Fluminense in 2022, it is uh, his first ever year in professional football. Seven appearances, two goals, not bad. He then went on loan to Santos um, for half a season, and he had 22 appearances and 13 goals in half a season. So that is a very good effort from him there. And his career with us, it says here three appearances, one goal. If you look down the bottom of the screen, overall for the club, four appearances and three goals. So not bad there from uh, Athos Guerra. But um, it's time to check the squad quickly and see who's performing well. So, as you see, injuries everywhere. We've just had Jerome Sinclair still out, Johnny still out, Ruben Duarte still out, Sven Wench is injured, Athos Guerra is injured. We've got Owen Harvey, who's just come back from injury. Um, Michael Carlotti, when we signed him, he was out for three weeks. We had a massive injury list, and it, it was really hurting us. I think that's one of the reasons why we lost to uh, to Arsenal. But um, yeah, the 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 the, the uh, injuries really caught up with his last game. But as you can see, goals: Tammy Albadri, twenty three and twelve assists in thirty appearances. So he's playing not too bad. If you check his stats here, we'll have a look how he's doing in the league. So I have to say, this is probably one of the best signings I've ever made on Football Manager. By the way, too. As you can see, we obviously we got him on loan when we first came to the Prem. We need a striker. He wanted to come in, 350k and his wages. You know, he did a job there for us, 16 goals. So I uh, can't complain about it, 12 assists. And then, you know, I, I did this on the live com. I managed to sign him on a free, 14 goals that year, only six assists. So felt the pressure after signing. We got him on a free, and this year he just exploded. As you can see in the league, he's got 12 goals, seven assists, but um. Down the bottom here, 30 appearances, one off the bench, 23 goals in all competition. If you count his internationals as well, he scored four. He got 12 assists for us as well. We have seven Player of the Match awards. So this guy is incredible. I'm so glad we signed him. And what, what, what else can I say? Quality. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of him. I don't think I will. He's really that good. I, I do not think I'll get rid of him. 74 appearances. For the Egyptian national team, 33 goals in that time. So, um, what else can I say? This guy has been an amazing player. And he did get the 2023 African Striker of the Year as well. So, that's excellent. Assists. Oh, as you can see, Jerome Sinclair has been out for quite a while. He's picked up 14 goals. Um, I think he's been out for at least two or three months now. We'll have a look. His injury was quite a long one, eight, eight weeks. Um, he's been out for about eight weeks. He's still got about another eight weeks to go. So unfortunately, F. Sinclair, Hesse started bagging him, 12 from six. Asensio not playing bad in there. In the, he's actually playing in the center of midfield at the moment. He was playing the attacking midfield role, but as numbers started to drop, he got dropped back, and Galuzzi started playing in a uh, more attacking midfielder role. He's bagged six with 10 assists. Michael Perry doing a job there. Athos Graham, four appearances, three goals. You know, I expect a lot from this guy. He is our record signing, so hopefully we can get a bit more out of him. But that's enough for the squad. We'll go on to today's game and see what we can do. We'll be playing Everton. So um, Everton is sitting in ninth. Anything could happen. Man United play Liverpool. Chelsea play Stoke. And uh, if we lose, say, we could be in a bit of trouble. But um, I think we should be fine. So... What, I'm going, what am I going to do with the squad? Matt Doherty is still a bit faded. Ruben Duarte is suspended. Johnny's injured. So, as you see, we are on, we're on, we're on our last limbs here. So, um, I'll tell you what, George Green, you go there. So, I'm thinking Hesse and Tammy Albadri starting up front. Galuzzi in behind them with Higuchi, Asensio, and Michael Perry. Michael Perry starting in the midfield. Um, I normally play him striker, but... Just because we're lacking options at the moment. But then again, we have Alexis Ugiado, who's been on form. But, you know, we'll give Michael Perry the start. He does deserve it. So, um, his say now, Badgery should, should be swapped over. And let's see if we can push forward now. So, we could move into top spot, depending on other results. Everton could uh, move to 8th in the table. And Everton are the favourites today. So, that's a bit disappointing. 
hopefully the live come luck is uh, is there because I really don't want to lose this game. As much as you've seen our form, I've talked up our players, it could affect us. So hopefully it doesn't and we'll just have to see how we go. But thing of the being well, and we have a highlight already, here's our battery. Will he whip it? Yes he does. Can't find anyone. Find the stashish. Arube, Perry, here you go, Higuchi, find it, El Badri, Galuzzi, finds Asensio, that's a goal. He's not offside, it's 1-0 after 8 minutes. Marco Asensio bagging another goal, and we move up to first. There you go, we're top of the table. Can't complain about that. So here we go, Higuchi, finds El Badri, there's Galuzzi, nice ball forward to Asensio, shoots, scores. Keeper couldn't do a thing about it. And what a signing he's turned out to be as well. He's like our Cesc Fabregas of Chelsea in real life. But there you go. You know, we're, we're doing well. Schneiderlin, Bertrand, everything have bought a bit of Southampton, haven't they? There you go. Bernardo Silva, will he score? Uh, Asomba Longa cleans up the scrap set. It's 1 1. And Asomba Longa is always good in FM. It's so frustrating. But. Bit of scraps there from Blanco. You know, Asamba Longa did hold his run. He did well. But, um, bit of a mistake there from Blanco. It's cost him. It's 1-1. One, one. And they have another highlight, do they? Is Bertrand, Oliver, Schoff, Bernardo Silva, Mendes. We're doing well. Keep defending. There you go. Asamba Longa will get there, won't he? Oh, Carlotti. Great work there from the left back. But the highlight is still going. Andre Wisdom at, uh, at Everton as well. That's a bit of a surprise. Carlotti's just fouled. Oh, no. Carlotti's just fouled him. And here we go. Is this Wisdom? No. Who's stepping up for this? Bernardo Silva, is it? Asamba Longa. Oh, scores top left. Asamba Longa's looking to get a hat-trick. He scored two in 15 minutes, and that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Let's just see. Top left, great corn, uh, great penalty, and uh, the keeper couldn't do anything about it. So, we'll give the boys a team talk, and we'll passionately tell them to d demand more. I was going to say, we have a highlight here, but it's actually going their way. So, we'll demand more from them. If we can see here, we could be in a bit of strife, but Asensio's made a good tackle. And uh, it looks like the ball has gone straight back to them. He's Oliver shop. Back to Oliver. Holding, they're, they're holding well. Asomba Longa now, the threat. And watch him. There you go, he's made a run. He'll whip it in. That's a goal. Oh, it's not, but it goes back to Asomba Longa. Be, be worried about that. It's Wisdom trying to build up again. Schneiderlin, Oliver, Bernardo Silva. That's a goal. No, it's not. What a save there from the defender. Great stop. But um, we're really being outplayed at the moment. 2-1. We've only had three shots on ta three shots, two on target, so... Definitely being outplayed here. Asensio, nice ball forward, but uh, can't find anyone. Oliver, Bernardo Silva, looks like we're in a bit of trouble. Come on, boys. Oliver, what's he going to do? Bernardo Silva, don't shoot. Shop, don't shoot. Blanco, save. Get up. Asom Blanco can't score. We do not want him to get a first half hat trick. At least he's not going to do a Sado Mane and score three in three minutes. But there you go. Blanco with another save. Bernardo Silva. We are defending way too much right now. Asensio, great tackle. Build. Or, or not. You can just have the end of the highlight. That's what FM's telling me. But I think we might need to change to a bit of a counter-attacking style. Because we're not getting much of the game. They have a lot of possession. So I think counter-attacking would be the way to go. But I don't think I'll initiate that until the half-time whistle. And maybe we can get something back before the break, but apparently not. As some longer scores. Oh, he hits the bar. He's hit the bar. Thank the Lord he's hit the bar. And that's the end of that highlight. And that should be that should be half time, losing 2 0. Tell Mr. Sharp to take the team instructions. I think we're gonna have to take Michael Perry off. He's not having a very good game at all. So Perry's coming off. Yigata can come on. Yigata has been a star for us this year. And we'll go counter. Go counter forward for now. We'll see how we go. See how we go on the counter because they're having a lot of the ball. So I'm hoping if we play on the counter, we could uh, play a bit stronger. The stats will soon tell us that. But 
uh, apparently not. Apparently Everton are just outplaying us today, which is a bit ridiculous. Here's Bertrand. Schneidlin. Oliver. Nielsen. Come on, boys. Focus. Bertrand. We can't. Nielsen. Blanco with a save. He's been a good signing as well. Ruben Blanco. I could not be happier. We actually pinched him from, from Everton too, didn't we? Quite a surprise. Is Hesse going to get on the end of this? No, he doesn't. We need to find El Badri up front. And it's not happening. So while we have this, I think I'll swap over El Badri and Hesse. See if we can get El Badri on the ball a bit. Because we need him there. You get out of though. Hesse. Asensio. Find someone. There, Higuchi. Find El Badri. There he is. He shoots. He... Puts it straight at the keeper. Why, Tamiya? Why? You've been amazing all season. Um, we need to tell the boys. Encourage them. Come on. Oh, we got another highlight here. I can't stop the game. Here's Yigara. Here's our battery. Get around him. Shoot. Oh, he's hit the post. Tamiya. Why? Oh, my God. Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. You've had an absolute block. Carlotti's having the worst game of his life. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop a Rube in the middle. We're going to sub Carlotti off. We're going to bring George Green on. Uh, push Galuzzi up front. Throw Green in the attacking midfielder role. And we want Herrera on for Higuchi. Just try and uh, play to our strengths a bit more. And we're going to go Overload as well. Not that Overload ever does anything. Um, we'll play overload, but here we go. Everton on the attack. Blanco's had an absolute mare, and that's three one. Blanco, what have you done? What have you done? That is absolutely shocking. This game could really affect our season, but um, what 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 can you do? Blanco's touched it, hasn't got enough on it, and he's put it into the back of his own net. And now their player is injured. It's not good enough for us. And here's Herrera. If we score now, I'd be very frustrated. Arube, great tackle. El Badri, Green, Asensio, put it over the bar. We need to be finishing chances like that. We really do. And here we go again. Can we build together? Asensio, Gluzzi, Pinto, El Badri. He's missed too. We've had five clear cut chances, and then there'll be one goal. Oh my. This is a joke. We have missed so many opportunities. Normally, we can just bang them in. Like It's crazy. And today, we missed bloody four. We missed four clear-cut opportunities for no apparent reason. And now Asensio has just fouled someone. Great work. Great work, Marco. You've probably just wasted our time. But... There you go. At least the Son Belonga didn't get a hat trick on us. That's all I can say. But still, a very disappointing result. You know, we had a great season up until this point. We were dominating. And now we've just conceded a just a butt ton of goals. So, I'll tell the boys I'm far from pleased. So, you should be shitty. Alright, so, what has happened in other results? Man United have won, and Chelsea have lost. That's not too bad for us that Chelsea lost to Stoke. Where is Stoke? Stoke is seventh now. So uh, in the, the the race at the top, race for the title, there's still 13 games left. But um, Man United now three points clear of Chelsea and four points clear of us. So we are going to have to do a job on United and Chelsea apparently. But we have a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of fixtures left to go. So um, here you go. Go through the uh, the shitty team talk, the press conference, and let's see what we're gonna do because we've got a lot coming up. We could do the Champions League. Maybe I'll put that Champions League one by itself. Then I'll do the Capital One Cup final. We'll do the second leg of PSG if we really need to, and we'll see how things go towards the. The, the run in. But uh, my name's been Chivos. Sorry about the long episode. We had a lot to cover. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on another Football Manager video.